It's gonna be a warm heaven. I don't know, a couple of different influences. When I moved into this new apartment, the front of the house has um, this old Kneipe inside of it called Zauberinsel. And Zauberinsel in German means magic island. So that was kind of one of the inspiration. And at the time when I moved into this house, it was my first place in Berlin and I just had a mattress on the floor in the middle of my room. So I kind of called this the island. Like I would invite friends over and we'd have nowhere to sit and nowhere to hang out or eat. So I would just be like, come to the island. The Island, and then we would have, I don't know, talks and time together there. So that was kind of the birth of Magic Island. When I first moved here, I think we only knew a couple of people. I was living at the time in Wrocław, uh, a town in Poland a few hours away, where my boyfriend's family was from and we were there together and we came just to visit Berlin for a weekend because there wasn't so much going on in Wrocław. We loved it and he actually went back to Poland and I was like, I'm not going back there. I had one little suitcase and I thought, I'm staying here now. This is my new home. You can really be your authentic self here and the general public doesn't care. I would say the influence of Berlin on my project is more uh, the influence of it on my personal life and that's where I managed to find some channels to make music, I guess, electronic music. I was always working on music when I was younger but more in like a classical or folk sense. But coming to Berlin definitely like opened up my creativity. I like the city a lot. It's a contrast of a lot of things. Some people don't like it because it's a bit rough and dirty. It's ultra real here, I think. You see a lot of real life, which isn't always beautiful and good and happy and nice. And that's kind of shown me that that's an important part of life experience too. It's, it shouldn't always be sugar-coated. Cities shouldn't always be clean. And this kind of, all of this input allowed me to find some voices inside of me that maybe weren't, weren't there before or I didn't see or listen to. Definitely didn't listen to them before. Now I can. I don't know, again, it's going with my development. I think my old things were a lot more dreamier and lighter and like I said, I wasn't maybe seeing reality so directly as I am now after some time. But I'm also growing up, I think that happens as you get older um, with your art and your personal self. A bit more painful, I guess. It's like focusing in and more on these realities and seeing unfairness and seeing pain and suffering all the time and I get caught up in that stuff a lot and I think like how unfair everything is and I don't know, it's tough. <laughs>